Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Flakes here for today's video. Now that James Harden has officially won the MVP, I thought it'd be fun to see what if the last 10 MVPs could go 82-0 in the NBA. Um, it's been a quick minute, guys, since I've done an 82-0 challenge. I was just kind of feeling it today. If you guys want more 82-0 challenges, be sure to drop a like on this video, man. Help me get this video to 1,000 likes. It would be greatly appreciated. So uh, what we are going to do first is take a look at all the MVPs. I also wanted to like, tell you guys the year they won it and what their stats were looking like. Just because I thought that would be kind of some interesting information to see out here. Then uh, as we do the simulation, I got a few other things to talk about. So look at the roster, guys. We got Kobe Bryant, who did win the MVP in the 2007-2008 NBA season. Drop a 28 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals per game. Uh, shot about 46%. I mean, you look at that, man. Like that is, that, That's not even like his best season. I don't understand how Kobe did not win more MVP awards, man. I'm actually a little salty about it. There's so many years that he probably still could have won it. Uh, it's just hard to believe he only has one MVP being the second greatest shooting guard of all time. Some people might say first. I think MJ's probably still better, though. Uh, next up, we got LeBron James. And as far as this goes, I mean, pick a season, guys. Pick a season. Look at his stats. The last time he won it was in the 2012-2013 NBA season on the Miami Heat. Dropping 27 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals uh, per game. But, man, I, I don't know. Like, that was a beastly season. But, damn, dude, like, every single season, LeBron James could always be argued for getting the MVP. But, I mean, you probably don't want to give the same guy every single year. That's how the NBA is now. Uh, next up, we have Dirk Nowitzki. Yes, guys, he won in 2006-2007. So, that season, 25 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists. I mean, that's the thing, man. Like, I, I love the 42% from 3. Like, just, that's just what Dirk does out there. But, looking at those numbers, um, it, it's so crazy the, the like expectations that that now come with the MVP award. If a guy puts up those type of numbers right now in the NBA, they are not in consideration. Like look at Anthony Davis and stuff like that, who puts up probably better numbers than that. But I mean, when Dirk was playing in his prime and stuff, it definitely was a different era of basketball. He was uh, one of the most dominant big guys to ever play the game. Next up, we have the big ticket Kevin Garnett. So this was in the 2003-2004 NBA season when he won this. Uh, so that season, man, playing for the Minnesota, 24 points, 14 rebounds, five assists. Damn, dude. Y'all just give me a moment of silence for just how great the big ticket was out there. All right, that's enough, man. Like, damn. <laughs> this dude is so freaking good. It's like an offense. It's, it's, it's like the great... I don't know, man. It's like Dirk Nowitzki meeting DeAndre Jordan out there. You know, we got the offense of the Dirk, but he's got the defense and the rebounding of DeAndre Jordan. That's, like, really the best comparison I could have off the top of my head. Probably not all that great. Uh, next up, we do have Kevin Durant. The reason I'm saying Kevin Durant and not bitch-ass Durant is because this season he actually won it when he, when he was on the OKC Thunder. It was the 2013-2014 season. Damn, dude, he dropped 32 points? 32 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists. And looking at these stats, now I know why I'm so pissed off all over again at Kevin Durant. Look at the numbers you put up when you were the main guy out there. It's like, you definitely, with those numbers, you could lead a team to the NBA Finals all by yourself. Uh, next up, we have James Harden, who actually just won this season for the 2017-2018 season. Sorry, those stats are not up there. You guys know what his stats were. I mean, I think he was the uh, NBA leader in points per game, always getting three rebounds and assists. My apologies. I don't have that since it's, you know, 2K18. Uh, next, we have Steve Nash. So, he actually won it in 2004-2005 and 2005-2006. Yeah, man, Steve Nash out there. Let's check out the years that he won it. I said 05, 04, 05, which he got about... He's never been a great scorer, like 16 points, 19 points. He's just never been that type of player. I mean, he's very efficient. That's the thing about Steve Nash. Like, he took smart shots, and he made the shots that he took. Uh, also, you know, when it comes to, like, make your teammates better, it was called the Nash effect, where you could just be, like, a role player on an NBA team, but Steve Nash is going to make you look like an all-star. Um, got 11 assists over here, about 12 assists per game this season. So, yeah, guys, that's Steve Nash for you. Look at his three-point percentage. Like... Damn, he would be so much fun to watch in this current NBA. I, I feel like we missed out, man, like seeing Steve Nash in this current NBA. It just would have been so much fun to see. Uh, next, we have Stephen Curry, who won it in 2004, 2015, and 2015, 2016. He's another one of those players that you could probably argue pretty much every single year that he could win it. Um, also, the crazy thing about Stephen Curry, just kind of going off subject right here, he actually does not have any finals MVPs, does he? Because I think the one year... Um, Andrew Iguodala won it. Then did Kevin Durant get it for the past two seasons? Regardless, man, the regular season MVP, like Stephen Curry, just changed the game of basketball as a three-point shot. Uh, now we have Derrick Rose. Yes, guys. There was a sad, 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 like, Instagram post that I saw or something like this. It was uh, Derrick Rose was actually at, like, a gym working out, and somebody said, you're the man, D. Rose. He said, unfortunately, not anymore. I wish I was, but I'm no longer the man. It just it made me want to cry, man. It makes me want to cry. Uh, the youngest MVP in NBA history during the 2010-2011 NBA season. He was like 22. 25 points, 8 rebounds, 1 steal, about 1 block game. Got the, uh, yeah, man, shot 44% field goal. 
only 33% from three, which is like respectable, I guess. But he's always been a guy that kind of got to the basket. Um, it is dominated based off his athleticism, which is why he doesn't really do all that great in the NBA now. Not saying he's bad now, just the athleticism is gone. So he has to kind of rely on other parts of his game. Uh, we got Russell Westbrook out here who didn't win it last year in 2016-2017 at 32 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists per game. Once again, man, I, I don't understand how the MVP award works. So just because like he averaged a triple-double this season, or not, no, no, yeah, last season we got the MVP. Then this season he does it again and he doesn't get any recognition for it. So I don't understand the mindset there. But yeah, then we got some throw-in players right there, man. So here we're going to do, guys. We are going to simulate the entire season, see if we can go 8-2-0. And, and I got a few more things to say about like MVPs and stuff like that. So uh, it, I'm going to tell you guys straight up. There's going to be somebody salty in the comments at this no matter what. I had no idea what to do with the starting lineup. I just got to, I, I decided to go with Steve Nash at point guard because, like I said, man, can make everybody around him better. Kobe Bryant at shooting guard, LeBron James small forward. Then I went with Dirk at the fourth spot just because, like, I want Durant and his scoring off the bench. Um, and then, like, we didn't really have any, that many big guys out here. So, Kevin Garnett is going to run the starting center position. And there's the rest of the team for you guys all to see. So, I mean, you know, they're all getting pretty, uh, pretty balanced numbers out there. Uh, let's go ahead and start the simulation, see how we do out there. 82-0, I think it definitely could happen, so hopefully it does. Okay, so, what I want to talk about first, man, is, like, do you guys realize that big guys can no longer win the MVP? Like, they, they, they could win it, but they just don't. I know, like, Joel Embiid was saying how he's going for MVP next season. It just doesn't make much sense to me. Like, Anthony, oh, oh my God, but Jazz Warriors still got me. Are you Come on, 2K! Yo, all we got is freaking Clay Clay, Chinese Clay for China Clay. The dude always dancing and stuff. Draymond Green. Oh my god, we lost to the freaking Warriors, guys. Wow. Even when I have their two best players on my team, we still managed to lose to the Warriors. That's absolutely insane. All right, but yeah, guys, like I was saying, oh, like Anthony Davis, like the numbers he puts up, and he just doesn't win MVP. So I think the reason that is, is because you kind of look at the three core stats when it comes to an MVP how many points per game, how many assists per game, how many re uh, rebounds per game. Now, for a lot of big guys out there, they can go out there and average 25 points, 11 rebounds, but they're only going to get like four or five assists a game. Like the best uh, passing big man out there get probably about around five or six a game. Where you look at like LeBron James or Stephen Curry or Russell Westbrook, any one of those guys are capable of grabbing like, you know, quite, you know, the rebounds. They're capable of getting the rebounds out there, but also the scoring and also the assists. Like a guy can get like freaking 10 assists out there, which is why Russell Westbrook got a last NBA season due to that triple double. So I don't know the next big guy we're going to see winning. I, I just feel like. I don't know, man. It's just it's, it's it's just weird that looking at this list here, the last big guy to win the MVP was Dirk Nowitzki in 2006, 2007. And even him, he's pretty much just like a guard in a power forward's body, right? And then before that, you got like, because like the late 90s, early 2000s, it was dominated by big guys. Kevin Garnett, uh, Tim Duncan, Tim Duncan, Shaquille O'Neal, Carl Malone, Carl Malone, David Robinson, Akeem Olajuwon. So I, I, just, I just feel like it's the direction that the, the uh, NBA is going. But the next thing I do want to talk about real quick here, guys. I want to know from you in the comment section below, who are some players in the NBA right now that you think are going to get an MVP award that have not won it yet? I think number one in my list, well, kind of type, it's more like a 1-1 type of thing, 1-A, 1-B. Uh, Giannis, I feel like Giannis Antetokounmpo could definitely win MVP, but he needs his team to win. Like, it's fine that you get the, that you get the stats and everything, but if your team's not winning basketball games, uh, you're not going to be put into the talking for the MVP award, plain and simple. I mean, that's just how it is. Like, you got to be valuable in the sense of getting wins for your team. Another player that I really want to see win it, he definitely deserves it, is Anthony Davis. Like, Anthony Davis, man, I was talking about him earlier. Just so, when DeMarcus Cousins went down with injury, how he put that team on his back and flew away with the Angry Bird Man, it was just, like, mesmerizing to watch. I just, it was beautiful basketball watching Anthony Davis play. It's just he, he stuck me in a big guy out there. So it's like, for some reason, big guys don't get as much attention as the guards and small forwards in the NBA. Um, and three guys out there that are kind of younger that I think could definitely win in the future, perhaps... You gotta say Ben Simmons. I mean, 6'10". If he can get his three-point shooting going at all, or really his mid-range game, um, I could see him winning it in like five, six years. Donovan Mitchell. People are saying he's like the next like Dwayne Wade. Wade's never won one himself, but Donovan Mitchell, well, he did having like one of the best rookie seasons of all time. I mean, that's no joke. And then of course you got Jason Tatum out there. I don't know if Tatum will ever be good to win MVP. I do know he could be like a superstar in the NBA, but I don't know if he'll ever be MVP caliber. With that being said, he is pretty young out there. So. We do have one more game left in the season against Chicago Bulls. Similarly, through date, we went 81 and 1. Bitch ass Warriors, man. LeBron James getting MVP still to put, despite playing with all those superstars out there. At 16 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists, 1 steal, 1 block per game. Shot 41% from 3. Here's, uh, we got Kevin Durant getting 6th man of the year. That definitely makes sense since he was coming off the bench and he's one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game. Uh, All NBA first team, so only got one guy making that LeBron. All NBA second, nobody there. And All NBA third. 
and really the big reason behind that is because like everybody's playing like 27 28 minutes per game so they're not quite put up the stats they normally would um let's go ahead and check out these team stats curious how we did like scoring wise so points per game <laughs> god damn bro dropping 127 points per game 89 points allowed which is uh best in the nba and also a 38 point differential that means we are averaging 38 points in you know margin of victory against the other teams we're playing against um i'll check out the three-point shooting shots yeah 45 percent from there oh my god bro how about this rebounding led the nba in rebounding assists by 46 assists per game <laughs> all right man we got playoffs no i'm gonna do the player stats what am i doing yeah player stats where you at bro okay so dirk Nowitzki, leading scorer of this team at 18 points 10 rebounds two assists we got uh yo my bad my bad yo where'd he go where the celtics go because that's the team is listed as i got i got named nba mvp though uh kobe has 17 4 and 4 we got lebron james dropping his stat line out there kevin durant going off the bench james harden 14.6 assists uh we got curry at the 12 points four assists off the bench steve nash got his 10 points out there eight assists just like so many great playmakers on the squad. I mean, Russell Westbrook actually did the worst out of everybody, which makes sense because I did use, like, this current Russell Westbrook. Uh, his stats are not as good as Leary won the MVP, but I was just trying, you know, you guys, you guys that was in the NBA right now. So here we go, man. I expect to fully sweep the playoffs. Similar like current round against the Miami Heat. See how this goes. And well, we got them four games, zero. Also, the Warriors, who did beat me, did not make it to the playoffs. So you guys caught that real quick. 33 for Durant in that closeout game. Next up, Toronto Raptors. Similar like current round. Got them four games to zero. Close out game looking like this. 18, 8, and 8 for LeBron. 17 for Kevin Durant. And now the Pacers with Victor Oladipo. Simulate current rounds. Got them four games to zero. Close out game looking like this. And speaking of MVPs, or guys that should get it, we got Anthony Davis here, guys, in the uh, NBA Finals. And Boogie Cuz, look at those stats, guys. Uh, 28 points, 12 rebounds. Here we go, man. Simulate current rounds. And, well, we beat them four games to zero. LeBron James, your Finals MVP. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a ton of fun to make. If you want some more A2 and O challenges, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. And peace.